Okay, so I mentioned briefly that we probably don't wanna have this cart create method here. In fact, we wanna make it a model manager. So it just creates it based off of the parameters that we pass through. So in our models uh, for the cart object, we're gonna say class cart manager, and it's gonna be models.manager. And I'm just gonna say define new cart, and it's gonna take in self user equaling to none. And that's pretty much what I'll leave it at for now. And then I'll just go ahead and return the self.model. And we're gonna do um, dot objects dot create user equals the user. And that's it. So I'm actually just creating that new cart based off of that user and just doing a shortcut of doing it. Um, yeah, there might be other things that I wanna add to this, right? So I, like I might wanna have products in here and already add those products to this, but that's not something I'm gonna cover yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this manager with using objects, cart manager, just like this. We've seen this before. So back into my view, instead of cart create here, we're just gonna do cart.objects.new cart, and we'll say user equals to none. So back into that model, we've got new cart, right? We actually, Maybe we should just call it new because it is the cart model. So we'll just call it new. Slightly different than the built-in one of create because it's a method that we're doing on our own. Um, so there we go. Okay, cool. So the next thing is, well, what if my user is actually logged in? I'm only using user as none. Um, so that's what I want to do for my default. But instead of saying anything else here, I'll just say request the user. That's it. So this should actually handle my authenticated user or not, which means that back in my model here, I'll have to say if user is not none and user dot it, or well, we'll say if user is not none, and then we'll say if user dot is authenticated, user equals to user or um, user object equals to user. Otherwise, user object is none. And then we put that down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. Um, really quickly, I have, oops, we wanna make sure we save everything. So save our model and save our view. So we refresh in here and we got an error and we're seeing list index at a range. So I wanna go into my carts. I'm just gonna delete these carts real quick and come back into my cart here. And I had some weird error that I just restarted the server and it's working again. So I deleted those carts and I actually created a new one and it's it's working basically as I expected, right? Like it, it actually creates it and it, it goes, it's gonna go based off of the user too now. So we actually associate the user if that user is logged in. So going back into this cart, um, I see that this user is not associated. So let's try it again. I'm gonna delete that cart. I'm also gonna delete this cart and we'll refresh in our cart. This actually should have created a brand new one for us. So let's refresh in there. And we've got cart seven. Our user is not being actually authenticated or used on here. So let's make sure that we are bringing in this user. So I'm gonna go ahead and print out that user. Let's delete that again, refresh in there. We've got the user coming through there, refresh and the user is not wanting to be saved here. Oh, and here's the reason. We need to actually do that. <laughs> Set the user object to that actual user, not to none. <laughs> okay, small little error that I fixed real quickly there. Refresh, let's go ahead and delete any test carts that we may have in here. We refresh in here now, and if I click on this cart, there we go, we've got our user actually associated. So um, the other thing too is if this cart object or if this doesn't actually have a user, we can say in here if request that user that is authenticated and um, cart object that user is none, then we can say cart object dot user equals to request dot user and cart object dot save. So that's how we can actually associate it to that user right right away. So let's go ahead and try that out. 
first of all, I'm gonna go into my cart, or actually all I need to do really is log out, okay? And then go back into my cart here. And I'm logged out, so I should have only one new cart here. We'll log back in and back into my admin. Um, oops, I logged out again. Back into my admin, go to carts. I have a new cart, it's CFE, so let's let's just go ahead and delete these carts. So the next cart should be number 13. So I'll log out again, and I'm gonna refresh into my cart. So cart, okay, so logged out as we see here, um, and also here, I'm actually not in the admin. So I'm gonna log in again, and go to that cart. Uh, before I go to that cart, let's just check to make sure it's created. It was created. Um, and we don't have any user there. So I'm gonna go back in to that cart and we refresh in here now. Uh, looks like it did not want to save it for me. So we have a little bit of an issue and that's probably this one right here. So let's go ahead and delete that, the little test that we were running and try that one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these carts again. We'll log out again. So I'm completely logged out. I refresh in here. Notice that I need to log in again. Uh, so I log in this time, hit submit. I haven't gone to the cart yet, so I don't know if the cart is associated. It shouldn't be. Cart ID number 15, it's not associated. Now let's go into cart again, refresh in here. What do you know? It's associated. Okay, cool. So that is how we can actually update um, how our cart is working too. So, so two very important and valuable things for us here and how this actually goes about working. If I refresh here several times, I shouldn't have a bunch of new carts actually coming through because of the logic we created in the view to handle all this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this and we now have our cart home portion working pretty well. Like we actually have the, the ability to create this cart based off of the session that we have. Okay, so if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.